What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing The Mule with Clint Eastwood, directed by Clint Eastwood as well. Yo, Clint Eastwood is mad old. Clint Eastwood has been out here for mad long, and I feel like the key to life, the key to longevity, is to keep working. I think that's how you really survive out here, man. Just keep going, man. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, especially when you're slim, Clint Eastwood has always been slim, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you got some other people work. Like B.B. King, he always performed, but you know, he was overweight, probably bad diet choices. So he probably could have still hung in there a little bit longer with better. Y'all are underestimating diet, you know what I'm saying? But Clint Eastwood, man, he is up there. And you still, you still imagine Clint Eastwood is like the unforgiven Clint Eastwood. That's how you kind of visualize. But the mule, they really play on his age. It's a story about a man who was pretty much a horticulturalist. Like he grew flowers and like transported them. And like he had a successful flower thing going like in like 2005 and then from Illinois. And then the internet comes along and so his business takes a hit. And so, you know, he's struggling, house foreclosed on. He's pretty much homeless at this point. And all the while, he was working so hard that he neglected his family at the same time. Cut to a guy that was at his granddaughter's engagement party. Like, yo, man, I see that you out here with your truck. I got a friend that's looking for people that could drive. You know, I see that you've been driving. He was like, yeah, I've been, I've been to 43 states out of the 50. That's me doing the Clint Eastwood. I've been to 43 states. And so he was like, well, yeah, you know, I know somebody that could use a driver to just drive something from one place to another. And you know, you got a clean record, no tickets ever. And like 70s, 50s, 65 years that he's been driving. And so they were like, yeah. And so he ends up being a mule for a Mexican drug cartel. You know what I'm saying? Just driving a package from El Paso to Illinois. Simple as that, collect your bread. And so, you know, the Clint Eastwood's character was all about that money and working. Why not? It's a no-brainer. I can get my house back. I can contribute to my granddaughter's wedding, college, whatever. He does it. He does one run initially. He doesn't ask any questions. He's like, don't look in the bag. Just take it here. Make the drop off. Call this number. You're done. And then, you know, as, as often happens, money's good. Why not do it again? And so... He's doing it again. That's pretty much the gist of the movie. All the while, you know, he's trying to patch it up with his family. At the same time, he's making this money. Because ultimately, he worked so hard and he was really just all about him. You know what I mean? So when you're driving, you're, you're by yourself. Let me tell you something, that drive from El Paso to Illinois, I've done that. I've done uh, New Mexico to Chicago. That's like a 16 hour drive straight through. So it's a little journey, man. And so, but when you're getting paid that good, drug cartel money that drive is nothing you know what i mean it's easy work you know and so he's doing that all the while bradley cooper who plays a dea agent along with michael pena they're on the case they're on the ball trying to you know seeing how the cartel is moving their weight from here to there and so the whole time we're like all right are they gonna find a clean east wood are they gonna you know because it's like and the sad part is it, but it's really accurate when you're looking for drug mules, nobody's gonna look at a 90-year-old white man, ex-war veteran, in a truck, in a pickup truck. Nobody's looking for that. And so that's what that's what makes the movie dope and like sad at the same time. Like, you know, they'll pull over a, a Mexican guy with a cowboy hat in a minute, like, pull him over. But then, you know, you let you let the Clint Eastwood looking dude just skate right by you. Cause he's an old white man. He, that's impossible that he's moving drugs for the cartel right under the radar. So it's just dope to see how everything unfolds in this movie. One of the takeaways is Clint Eastwood as a director is, is the gold standard of actor-director. He's the gold standard. Because usually actor-directors, the directors might not be able to act. Clint Eastwood can act. Like when you watch him, it doesn't look like he's acting. It looks like he's just being a real person. And you know, his acting career was so strong before he got behind the camera. It's like, yo, and he's so dope behind the camera. Like Unforgiven, a lot of people consider that one of the best westerns. I feel like Tombstone is better, but Unforgiven is dope. But I love Million Dollar Baby, and uh, Mystic River is probably one of my favorite movies that he's done. But he's directed countless movies. And he just did uh, that movie um, about the Paris, the train to Paris joint. That movie wasn't that good, though. Uh, 
because he didn't have real actors in that joint. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Clint Eastwood. Another takeaway is Clint Eastwood, man. He's old. That that's the man. I'm like, yo, he is really up there, man. And I love it. I love to see. I love to see these older cats still out here. Sidney Poitier is still out here, man. Norman Jewison, who directed Sidney Poitier in the Heat of the Night, is still out here, man. I love it. I love it, man. Stay alive. Keep working, keep doing your thing, man. That's the takeaway for me. Keep working. But forget all that. Y'all want to know the smooth jazz review of The Mule. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving The Mule four saxophones out of five. <laughs> and when I turn around, I'm going to be 90. That's the plan. Because you never stop moving. You never stop moving. All right, peeps, that's my review of The Mule. Let me know what you thought of The Mule in the comment section below. Have you seen it? Do you want to see it? What do you think about Clint Eastwood? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section below. Other movies like this, Maria Full of Grace, a movie that came out a while ago about a mule, drug mule. But let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.